As an employee, you have a relatively easy life because the employer takes care of all the tax calculations and you simply receive the net salary and that is the extent of it. If you're self-employed, you have all responsibility. That means you must handle tax calculations and pay tax to the correct office on your own as a self-employed person. And honestly, in this context, ignorance is no excuse. That means it's your responsibility to find out which types of taxes might apply to you, and when, and how you actually have to report them. And that's why I thought, I'll just make a video where I basically talk about which types of taxes are somehow relevant for you as a self-employed person. And we're talking specifically about three types of taxes that you should keep an eye on. The first tax you absolutely need to know, you've probably been paying it all the time, maybe without even knowing it, and that's the income tax. Every individual earning income in Germany must pay income tax without exception. As an employee, you always have a position in your pay slips called income tax. And then you might think, I don't pay income tax, I pay payroll tax. But in reality, income tax is just another term for Landsteuer. All the money you've always paid as income tax is actually the income tax. The same applies to capital gains, so the capital gains tax is just a different term for income tax. If you've paid both, then you've definitely paid income tax at least once. As a self-employed person, you have to determine your profit and pay income tax on that profit. Important note at this point is not only on this profit, but you pay your income tax on your entire income. You need to total your income for a year. For instance, you total your self-employment, employment, or rental income if applicable. You add all of that up and then calculate a taxable income and then you have to pay taxes on that. I've made a more detailed video on how the exact calculation of income tax works. That's why you can also review it again to understand the income tax more precisely. I'll link it to you once in the top right corner. Now, here's the thing you need to know. Roughly the first $10,347 of annual taxable income is tax-free. That means you only have to pay income tax when you have a total income of approximately over 10,000 euros per year. Admittedly, this threshold isn't very high, but if your total income is below it, around 10,000 euros, no income tax is needed. What I keep hearing here, which is sadly wrong, is that you don't need to file a tax return then. That's false, though. You must differentiate between the obligation to file a tax return and the obligation to pay taxes. And if you're self-employed, you always have to file an income tax return, which doesn't automatically mean you have to pay taxes. If, let's say, you're studying and starting your own business, and you've earned 5,000 euros from self-employment with no other income, no income taxes due. But you still need to file an income tax return. Pretty simple. Why? How else can the IRS know you're exempt from taxes on this property? That's why you should always file your tax return, but it doesn't always mean that you have to pay taxes. The second type of tax that you should familiarize yourself with is the business tax. On business tax, there's confusion and questions. That's why, surprise, surprise, I also made a longer video about it. I'll link it to you in the top right corner. That means if you want to know more about business tax, then check there. The business tax has the peculiarity that not all self-employed people actually have to pay it. Because you always have to first determine what you are in terms of your independence. Are you self-employed or operating a business? Freelancers have no involvement in trade tax. If you're self-employed, you can skip the next few seconds now as you're not required to deal with business tax. No need to submit trade tax return and never pay trade tax, regardless of the amount of profit you make. If you are conducting business, then you certainly need to submit a business tax return on an annual basis. Now you might be thinking, that's really unfair. Freelancers don't actually pay this whole type of tax, and business owners just have to pay more taxes. I agree with you that it's unfair, but not due to the tax amount, just because it's bureaucracy that could have been avoided. The key thing about business tax is that you have a tax-free allowance on your profit, which is around 24,500 euros. That means you can make a profit of up to about 25,000 euros before you have to pay a single euro in trade tax. And even then, when you pay trade tax, you can then deduct this paid trade tax in your income tax return. That is the reason why you can remember that what business owners pay in trade tax, freelancers simply pay a higher amount in income tax. 
Learn how the calculation works in the video I've already linked for you in the top right corner. The third kind of tax that you should examine more closely if you are a self-employed individual is the sales tax. In colloquial language, Umzat Stuer is known as sales tax. Officially, it is called sales tax and the law regulating it is also named Tax Act. Everywhere you see VAT, there is sales tax included. And as the name suggests, the sales tax is not calculated based on your profit, but on the sales you make. And if you ever pay attention as you go through life, you'll see the sales tax everywhere. On every bill, on every receipt, everywhere it says sales tax. That means the sales tax is always involved in every business transaction. Sure, there are exceptions, but basically remember sales tax is involved in every transaction made. As a self-employed person, you have to include the sales tax on your invoices, of course. So, you actually get the sales tax transferred from your customers along with your invoice amount. You must regularly pay the sales tax to the tax office, involving transferring money and submitting a report. This message is sales tax pre -notif. You don't have to pay the total amount, as you can deduct part of it. And you possess the capability to deduct the sales tax that you in turn paid to your service providers and suppliers. Basically, you regularly calculate total sales tax received from customers. On the other hand, you tally the sales tax paid to suppliers, service providers, landlord, phone company, and whatever else paid, you tally that too. You have the sales tax received, sales tax paid, calculate against, then pay the difference to the tax office. I've told you, you do this regularly. Regularly means monthly, quarterly, or yearly for sales tax. Based on your sales tax payment last year, you have different advanced notification periods. That means you can't choose it. The tax office will notify you, and then you just have to make a monthly, quarterly, or annual report and transfer this amount. I've made a video on sales tax. To delve deeper, check out the linked video up here on the right. It provides a deep dive on the topic of sales tax. If all this is too much administrative effort for you, and you would prefer to do without it, there is a little special feature in the sales tax law, namely in paragraph 19. This regulation is known as small business regulation. It's important to clarify that it exists exclusively within the sales tax law. The small business regulation is unrelated to trade tax and income tax. However, if your annual sales are below 22,000 euros, you have the option to exempt yourself from the sales tax requirement. As a small business owner, you don't include sales tax on invoices. You can offset the sales tax paid to service providers and suppliers. You don't file a sales tax pre-reg. You have nothing to do. You decide not to do that. That's a real big bureaucratic simplification, but it can be a real downer financially in some cases. That means you should inspect it. So if you consistently earned less than 22,000 euros or had a turnover of less than 22,000 euros in the last year, then you can skip this VAT accounting. But even with regard to sales tax, then you don't have to pay sales tax, but you still have to file a sales tax annual return once a year. Small biz owners must file the sales tax return, like all other sales tax liable biz owners. I hope that with this brief overview video, you obtained a rough initial idea of the tax implications you may encounter as a self-employed individual. If you have any more questions, feel free to write us a comment under this video. With every tax, there are rules, exceptions, exceptions to exceptions, exceptions to exceptions to exceptions, and so on. And there are also other types of taxes, but they are more relevant for specific professional groups or activities, and not for all self-employed people. These three types of taxes are really relevant for all self-employed individuals, and everyone should at least look into them once. All info about our offer and how we can help you, find out when you click here. But feel free to check out other videos on this channel first, like this one or this one.